feels like we've talked about a number of symbolic moments since you've assumed the mantle of Melbourne victory coach, but tonight does feel like a big one. The first derby win over City in over two years. Just do you feel the sense of occasion? Yeah, I, I said all week it's a, it's a special game. Uh, derby games are special. Um, you only get three points. We, we understand that, but you know we. We haven't had a result, a win against uh, Melbourne City for a while. Um, we had two draws. We, we feel we've improved in each game, from the first game to the second. Uh, and today we improved again, and today we deserve to win. How did you improve today? I mean, that opening half an hour, 3-0, playing them off the park. What do you think went so right? I think our whole game, really. I think um, defensively, you know, we're, we're playing the best attacking team in the league. <laughs> you have a look at the goals they score regularly. Um, we we're compact, we we're aggressive, um, we were connected as a team and going forward, you know, we were a constant threat. Um, we moved the ball quickly and gave them problems uh, in wide areas. Um, you know, and I, I thought we, we deserved the three goal lead at half time. I mean, is this pretty much just how you drew it up? I mean, I think they had 60, 65 odd percent possession, but you've had three times the amount of shots for them. Could it have gone any better, do you think? Look, you always want, <laughs> you're always searching for more, which uh, you know I hope that the players want more too. Um, yeah, we three 0 at half time. You know, it was important to you don't know what will happen in the second half in terms of whether we can score more goals or not. But we we continued to look threatening. We continued to create opportunities, uh, and I'm I'm very happy that we kept another clean sheet against uh, such a good team. And just a word on Marco Rojas's performance. Bryce, he's looks like he's in some red hot form at the moment. Yeah, wonderful performance from Marco. It's, it's been uh, been coming and he's, when I say it's been coming in terms of the output with, with the goals that he scored, um, you know, the last three, four games, he's been so good. Uh, he's getting through the games a lot better. So physically he's in great shape and you can see that the power and speed is returning. The quality was always there, but now he's, um, you know, he's feeling really good physically and he's able to show the talent that he's always had. You seem to press high up on their midfielders when they were getting the ball um, straight away from their defenders. Was that something that you uh, like looked at heading into the game as a point of weakness for City? Well, I, I wouldn't say that their midfield is a, is a weakness. No, far, far from that. But uh, yeah, we, we had a plan, and you always have a plan going into a game. Uh, you know, if if we could match their midfield or or take some control of it. Um, it stops their front three getting um, easy possession and getting the ball in the areas where they're so dangerous. You know, you've got your soccer front three there. So uh, if we can limit the service that they get, that it's more difficult to service, that they get it further away from goal, uh, it gives us a better chance. And you know, we, we remained disciplined and aggressive in that approach throughout the game. Speaking of that plan for the game, Poppy, you seem to target at least in the first half when you did go with that advantage, target a lot of your attacks down the right flank and trying to isolate the fullback on that side. Was that a conscious decision to really channel that right-hand side? Uh, I think, I think we, we channeled both sides, uh, not, not in particular uh, on that side. I think once we, once we broke their uh, first press, our midfielders were able to give our wingers the ball who had um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations and um, you know we made the most of that today. Just thinking about your derby meetings with City this year, Popper, I mean, earlier this season we had the quick free kick taken, the quick thinking tonight, Daggers is aware of the poor back pass and he strikes in. Do you think that's an area that your side has an advantage over City, just this urgency, this always, the sense of always being on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think when you look at results, you can always try and find something that you, you're in the ascendancy with. Um, but I, we try and start the game with intensity all matches. And, and a derby, you need to match a top side. You know, they're still well in front. They're still the best team. Um, but today, today's performance and today's derby, we deserve to win. You say they're still in front, which say 12 points are. You can actually run them down. You've, you've got the games in hand. But more to the point, Tony, I mean, was this an important time to make such a statement with the finals looming, 
with the recent history, those heavy losses last year, that it's, it's a psychological point as much as a point on the pitch? I think we went into this game where we've just had two away, tough away matches in Adelaide. Uh, Travelling, coming back, Perth was a, such a difficult trip for us um, <laughs> with, with the flights, etc. But we, we gained a lot with that victory because we were not physically at our best. Players were really fatigued, um, players under the weather. So we gained a lot in terms of our mentality to win when we weren't at our best. Uh, we recovered very well and today we wanted to perform better than what we did the last match against Melbourne City. And we felt if we did that, we gave ourselves a chance of winning. <laughs> that's, that's what you give yourself. You give yourself a chance of winning. Um, you're never quite comfortable against them. You never feel that they're out of the game. I, I never feel that with them because, um, you know, they've scored so many goals for a reason. They, they can score at any moment. But, you know, we defended extremely well. Um, and, uh, and I thought with the ball, um, you know, we played through their press uh, better than we have uh, thus far. Subject of short turnarounds, you've got another one coming up. You've got Brisbane Raw here on Tuesday. How do you approach that? And do you have any, any injury concerns coming out of this one that you'll have to manage for that? Uh, at the moment, bumps and bruises and um, yeah, some sore bodies, which you'd expect from a derby, the intensity of a derby. But uh, you're right, you know, Tuesday comes around and, you know, that's got to be our focus that, you know, we, we have to win again on Tuesday at home. Um, tonight the players will enjoy this, I'm sure, in terms of when they're home relaxing, they'll realise what a great performance it was. But tomorrow we need to come in for recovery uh, and we need to start thinking about Tuesday. Thank you. Very much. Good. Thank you.